Hello guys, my name is Piers Katsis and today we're going to see how we can mock identity in our integration tests. So let me show you what uh, I have here and what's the problem. I have a mockauth.api, it's a web API. And in my program.cs I add authentication. I define the default authentication scheme and the default challenge scheme to be the JWT bear default. So I use a JSON web token. And then I add my JWT bearer and I pass some options, they're uh, irrelevant to what we're going to see today. But I just add the token authentication. And then I tell the framework to use the authentication and the authorization middleware. And I also have an identity service in which I have a, a single method called login and I accept a username. And then I create the token based on that username. And I also pass a new list of claims, one with the type username and the value username, that's the username we accepted, and uh, one uh, with the type role and the value admin. So although I don't uh, have a database with users and I don't uh, use a password to log in, the result is the same, we generate a secure token with a secure algorithm. So I have also in my controllers folder an identity controller in which I have a login endpoint and there I accept the login request, which just has the username. So I call the login method of my identity service and I pass the username and then I return the token. And then I have an authorized endpoint in which I return the claims of the user. And finally, I have another authorized endpoint called secret in which I require the role of super admin and I return okay and secret. And actually let's return the claims as well in here. So let me run that really quick to see how it behaves. And I'll also open Postman and uh, I'll try to get the claim. So I hit send and I get back 401 unauthorized. So I'm going to log in and I get my token back and the body of the request, just a username and uh, the value spurious. So I'll go to my auth and uh, I'll paste that token, I'll hit send, and as you can see I get 200 OK, and uh, in their claims I have username Spiros, role admin, and the expiration of the token. But if I try to do the same uh, with the secret endpoint, I'll get back forbidden because although I am uh, logged in, I don't have a super admin role. And uh, I have a test project as well called mockauth.integrationtests. And I have a mockauth API factory which inherits from the web application factory of API marker. That's just an interface to mark my API project. And that's uh, something that you probably already do in your integration tests. And that, that's not a video about integration testing, so I'm not going to dive deep into integration tests at all, but uh, only how to mock authorization. So. In the constructor, I initialize an HTTP client and uh, I store it to a private read-only HTTP client field. Probably you would do that in an initialize async method where you spin up your database, etc. And then I have a public HTTP client method called getClient in which I return the client. Then I have a controllers folder and inside of that I have an identity controller test in which, in which I have three tests. First of all, I inject the mock, uh, API mock auth API factory and then I test output helper so we can see uh, some things in the console if we need to. And uh, the first test called get claims should return 401 when not, logged, when not logged in. So I make uh, to the claims endpoint and call and if I run that you will see it will pass since we don't, uh, since we are not authenticated or authorized. Okay, so I have success and then I have a get claims to return 200 when logged in and I also print the response content in um, the console that uh, obviously should fail because we are not logged in. So if I run that, it will fail. And uh, finally, I have a get secret to return 200 when super admin in which I call the secret endpoint and I expect the return to be okay. So we need uh, to hit that uh, endpoints from our tests. Now you might say, okay, just uh, comment that authorize attribute, run the tests and comment it and, uh, and you'll be okay. First of all, you might forget to uncomment that and that would be a really big problem. Second, if you want your integration test uh, to run um, as part of your CI CD pipelines 
that uh, will not work because the test will fail. And third, probably in a real application, you use something about the user inside the controller or somewhere down the flow. For example, the user ID that you will get from the token. So that will also make uh, your tests fail. Another solution that will work is uh, when uh, you initialize uh, your test database, etc. You can also create some test users with various roles and based on the endpoint you want um, to test to log in uh, as a user with that uh, role and use the token that you get uh, from logging in but that uh, could be a lot of work so we're going to see a simple way first of all I'm going to an identity folder that I have and I'm going to create a new class called test dedication scheme provider and I'm going to inherit from the authentication scheme provider so authentication scheme provider I'm going to implement the two constructors and uh, I don't want to override anything here I'll just pass the options uh, to the base but if I go and see the methods that I can also override I want to override the get default authentication scheme async and I uh, will create a new scheme so var scheme equal with new authentication scheme and if I hover that, uh, as you can see, I need to pass the name, the display name, and the handler type. For the name, let's store it in a const here. So public const string name, and let's call that test authentication scheme. So let me copy and paste that. Okay, so now I'll say name, name, and for the handler, what I'm going to do is to create a new class called test authentication handler so let me copy the test authentication because I'm lazy and create a new class called test authentication handler and I'll inherit from the authentication handler of authentication scheme options so authentication handler of authentication scheme options and I'll implement the missing members two constructors that I won't mess with them I'll just uh, pass everything to the base constructor and that's the handle authentication async method which we will implement but for now let's go back to test authentication scheme provider and uh, here for the type let's say type of test authentication handler and let's return that so let's say return task dot from result and pass the scheme and that's not null so I'll go back to my mock of API factor and let's close the other tabs and where I configure my test services I'll also want to configure identity so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going back to my program.cs and copy that whole block right here and paste it here so let's fix the services okay let's import namespaces but uh, for the authentication scheme, I uh, will say that it's not the JW T bear default authentication scheme, but it's the test authentication scheme provider dot name. So the test authentication scheme, and the same for the default challenge scheme. And I won't add any bear tokens. I'll just say add scheme authentication scheme options and test authentication handler and now I will pass the test authentication scheme provider name and I don't want to configure any options so what we did is uh, we add another authentication scheme the test authentication scheme and the responsible uh, for handling the authentication is our test authentication handler so what I'm going to do now is uh, to create a method to get authorized client and actually I'll rename that get client to get unauthorized client and I will create a new one called authorized client so get authorized client and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new client so I'll say var client equals with create client and I will add an authorization header to that client. So I'm going to say client dot default request headers dot add authorization. And I'm going to and I'm going 
to set that to a new authorization header value and I will pass the name of my test scheme so test education scheme provider dot name and then I'll return that client now there's no need to create a new client uh, each time you can you can also have the default one and clear the headers each time I'm doing that for simplicity reasons and uh, now I will also need a super admin client so I'll say get super admin client and I wrote client two times that's not right okay now for the super admin I'm going to add a new request header so I'm say client dot default request header dot add and I will say that the key is role and uh, the value is super admin so just because I added to the headers that doesn't mean uh, that I will just have the role of super admin so that the uh, work the test education handle comes into play uh, that uh, handle authenticate async method is responsible for handling uh, the authentication for the test authentication scheme so what I'm going to do in here is to create a new list of claims so I'll say claims equals with new list of claim and uh, I will make the admission that uh, if I have in my headers something with the key role add the values of that as roles so I'll say if context.request.headers and as you can see we have access to the request since uh, this method is responsible for handling the authentications so context request headers dot try get value and I want the key to be role and I'll store the output to a variable called roles so I'll just uh, do it for one claim I'll say claims dot add new claim and the type I want to be claim types dot role and the value I want to be the first of the roles and that's not null now I will create a claims identity so I'll say var identity equals with new claims identity and I will pass the claims and the authentication scheme name so test authentication scheme provider dot name now I will create the principal from that claims identity so I will say var principal equals with new claims principal and I will pass the identity and finally and finally I need an authentication ticket so I'll say var ticket equals with new authentication ticket and I'll pass the principal and the name of the authentication scheme so test authentication scheme provider dot name and then now I will return an authentication result so I'll say return task dot from result authentication result dot success and I will pass the authentication ticket so that's some uh, identity stuff that uh, we won't uh, going to talk a lot about them if you want to see how identity works under the hood uh, Anton from raw coding has uh, some amazing series about authentication so let's see it another time uh, how that all works together in our mock api factory when we configure our test services we had authentication and we want to use the test authentication scheme and responsible for handling the authentication for that scheme is our test authentication handler and more specific the handle authentication state async method and in here you can do whatever you want with authentication and the authenticator authorized users based on whatever you need we just did it by using some uh, header values so one more thing before we actually run our tests in our mock auth api factory we created an unauthorized client but um, in here as you can see uh, we authorized the uh, any and if and if we don't have anything in our headers but we can configure that if we want to so i'm going uh, to run that get claims to return 200 when logged in so if i run that my test should pass 
and it passed and as you can see the claims are empty we don't have any claims since uh, we didn't define any in our authentication handler if we don't have a value to our headers but we can define some default values if we want to and uh, finally if i run with the authorized client the test that calls the secret uh, endpoint it will fail since in an authorized client we don't have a super admin role but if i call that with the get the super admin client it will pass and uh, as you can see we have uh, one claim with the type role and the value super admin so that was it about how to mock identity in your integration tests if you like this video please like it and subscribe thank you for watching and have a nice one